y'all. So a week from today, I have my surgery. And it's surgery to place an AV fistula, remove this port with all its problems, and place a new port. If you want the info on the surgery, you know, why we're doing it, why we've come to these decisions, please check out this video. I give all the info there, and it's really too much information for me to repeat. But anyways, I have gone through port surgery before, quite obviously. This is the first port I've had placed, and I've had it nearly two years. And having gone through the surgery already, I've learned some hacks and must-haves and tips and tricks on how to make the surgery and recovery as comfortable as possible, and I wanted to share those with y'all. So hopefully I can help someone in a similar situation. The first thing I wanna share with y'all is this. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. There we go. This is numbing cream, basically. The brand name is called Emla Cream, E-M-L-A. You get it from a prescription from your doctor and I pick it up at my local Walgreens. So the way people use this with their ports is they'll take a thick glob of it and put it on top of the skin where their port is located. That way it numbs the area and makes it more comfortable when you're accessing and sticking the needle in. People tend to leave it on about 30 minutes to an hour before accessing. When you first start accessing your new port, it is a feeling you need to get used to, and it can be sore since you're still recovering from the placement and surgery. Every doctor has their opinion on when you can start using it. For me personally, I started using mine right away. And also, this cream doesn't work that well for me. I think it's because of my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I tend to metabolize certain medications very quickly, including anesthetics. So maybe that's why the Emla cream doesn't work well for me, but I know it does work well for others and it helps them ease the discomfort of accessing their port. Even though this wasn't very effective for me, I did use it for the first few access attempts because I think it gave me peace of mind. But honestly, once I got used to it, accessing my port didn't hurt or bother me. And people still use this even after they've had their port for a while. So this may be a tool you wanna to consider for your port. Something else that is quite helpful for port surgery are button down shirts because lifting your arms up and taking off a regular shirt that doesn't open in the front can be really difficult because when I got this port placed, using this arm was not the easiest thing while I was recovering. So one of my favorite places to get button down shirts, PJ shirts, because you want to be comfortable while you're recovering, is Target. So my lovely mother is taking me there now and we're going on a Target run. To Target. My mom is off to her favorite section. Hippo and I are ready to go. And in case you're wondering, I don't usually wear slippers out. I have two AFOs, but I recently had surgery on this foot and it's putting too much pressure. So that's why I've got the panda slippers, rocking the panda slippers. Good girl. Making our way to the PJ section. They have a Halloween one. This is exactly what I want. Short sleeve, button down. This is exactly what I was looking for. Short sleeve, button down, very comfortable, and they come with a pair of uh, pajama shorts too. Do they? Yes, they have a pair of pajama shorts. And I got the gray, they don't have my size in anything except this one, that's not really my style. But they have a size up in gray, and pajamas can be baggy, so it's fine. Um, and I've got a pink one of these from my last port surgery, so I got that. And then robes are really good for this too. I got a robe and that should be plenty. Well, I enjoyed the Target run and got exactly what I needed because again, button down shirts are perfect for after port surgery because this whole area hurts and these are really easy to get on and off. Hey y'all, I have something else I wanna share with you about port surgery. Something you may wanna think about is securing the bottom border. The bottom is where my tubing typically tends to come out and whatever side the tubing comes out of tends to fray up more quickly. Also, I like to secure it with something because if my port gets tugged on, the pressure is here rather than at my port itself. So let me show you what I tend to use. There are a lot of options you can do for this. You don't even have to secure it if you don't want to, but personally I do. So I either use this, which is a Tegaderm Advanced IV dressing, or this, which is Metaport tape. This is pricey. This, not so much. I pay for both of them out of pocket. I get them online and I'll put links in the description. So which one you use depends on your budget and your preference. This one is pretty self-explanatory on how to use it, how to place it once you open it. I'm not gonna open it because I don't want to use one just for demonstration purposes. Like I said, these are kind of pricey. 
But anyways, there is a square part with a slit in the middle and it goes facing down and then the tubing goes between the slit and then there's another piece you put on the bottom. For the Metapore tape, what I do is I cut out two squares and I cut a slit to the center of each square. And then I put one facing down with the tubing between the slit and the other one facing up with the tubing between that slit. So it kind of goes like this and secures it. I also want to talk to y'all about allergies. So a common challenge among port users is that they develop an allergy to the dressings and adhesives. As you can see, my skin is red and slightly irritated from this dressing, even though this is one of my safe dressings. When I first got my port placed, we had to try several different brands because I kept reacting to them and it's so unbelievably itchy. It burns, it's uncomfortable. So keep in mind, you may have to do some trial and error to find what dressings work best for you. And there are different brands like Sorbivu. People often recommend IV 3000 if you are prone to skin allergies. But I found that the clear IV Tegaderm was my best option. However, I sometimes even react to my safe dressing. For example, if my Mastel is flaring. And even if you find one that works for you, at a later time, you can suddenly develop an allergy to it. It can be tedious, it can be frustrating, but just work with your medical team and eventually you'll find something that works for you. Also, you can use skin preps, which are things you put on your skin to prep it for the adhesive, and those can assist with reactions as well. Hey, hello, you saying hello? All right, y'all, well, something else you'll wanna consider with port surgery is seat belts. They kinda go right where the ports can be located and depending on which side of your chest your port is on and whether you're driving or in the passenger seat or where you're sitting, the seatbelt might interfere with it. And when I first got my port placed, I was more sensitive to the seatbelt. Nowadays, it doesn't really bother me, but having something like this helps, a seatbelt protector. You can get them pretty much anywhere on the internet. I'll put a link to some in the description, but this is a good investment to uh, have some added comfort for your port if the seatbelt might interfere with it. So it's the night before my surgery and the last thing I want to share with you is port placement. It goes in this general area, but something for people who wear bras you'll want to avoid is it being right where your bra strap is. So what I do, what I did with my last surgery is I took a permanent marker and I outlined my bra strap so they know, okay, don't go to this side of the line. I don't want it anywhere near there. Same thing for the other side. Move my hair. So my surgeon knows that side of the line. And she said I could even put a little X on the ideal spot. And I really like where it is on this side, so I want it in the same spot, just on the opposite side. So. Right. Sure, that looks like a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? I don't know. You said that like questioningly. <laughs> Just pick and choose. Like, yep. That's the spot. I mean, ultimately, it comes down to your anatomy and what your surgeon prefers, but she knows, you know, this would be a good spot. Stay on this side of the line, stay on that side of the line, so it's not interfering with my brush straps. And that's that. Well, you nervous? Yes, I am. But I got this, and I hope this video was helpful for people in similar situations. And with that, I will say. Good night, and thanks for joining us on our adventure. So brave. <laughs> I love you. I love you too.